right, welcome to a San Diego vlog. This is gonna be a productive, hopefully productive, check off my to-do list with me kind of vlog. I have about 45 million things to do while I'm here in San Diego. I'm here for a couple weeks and then I'm going back abroad again for a few months. We'll have one US city in between and then I go abroad again. So I just have like, you know, all those random things that you've been putting off doing or that I've been waiting to do. I'm going to Tower 28. So I just have a long, long list of all those random things. And I like to kind of like block off my days. So I'll have like editing days or filming days or filming and editing days basically YouTube days and then other work kind of days or like get my life together kind of days because it's just easier for me if I'm like staying in one mindset than like bouncing between different kinds of things and putting on like different hats so but actually this morning right when the Apple store opens why is this not coming up at 10 it doesn't seem late like why does Apple open at 10 so we're gonna hop over there and check out the MacBook Air slash I've already checked it out. I know exactly which one I'm hoping that they have in stock. They've been out of stock online. The reason why I'm gonna be switching MacBooks is because the big one that I have right now, the MacBook Pro, is quite heavy. It is actually like four pounds. I weighed it with the MacBook and the case on it. And with all the traveling right now and I'm like carrying it on my back, I didn't realize how heavy that one was when I got it last year. So I'm going to be selling that one on eBay and then switching to the MacBook Air, which will be almost like two pounds less weight, which is significant when you're bouncing all over the place all the time. And the one I'm getting is actually significantly cheaper than the one I have. So I'm going to sell this one on eBay and basically I'll like end up breaking even essentially. So we'll see if the Apple curse continues today to be determined. I want the REM concealer. Does anyone else stick lashes on literally any surface you can find? Not doing anything crazy with the makeup today, just a quick little cool thing you know cheers to a productive vlog i'm excited okay so here's my outfit for today this tank top is from yes style get this h&m my usual adidas bag fits everything then these jeans are so cute they're etica denim and they're like recycled sustainable love the fit that they're like tight up here tight in the butt but then they have like a good amount of bagginess and i like the rips and everything and then here are my sandals Ended up changing my top back to my white one because it was a little too toasty. Literally, it's so humid. I'm getting like the upper lip sweat just in the house. <laughs> what did I bring this for? Because it's my freaking job. <laughs> so we're almost to Apple. Are you excited, Dad? What do people want to hear from you? Yes. I'm ready to be online again. Big thumbs up, Taylor. People want staff. you to do my makeup. Right. Yeah, they want you to do my makeup again. Yeah, I, I could love to do it. <laughs> it's a video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, be careful. If you break it, you buy it. We have acquired the MacBook Apple Store. Didn't have it in stock, and then the exact one that I wanted, so I checked Best Buy, and Best Buy had it in stock exact one so that's exciting and also if you are doing a similar thing you can actually return you get a prorated refund for your apple care if you're going to sell your other one so then there's really no reason not to get apple care you yeah, know if you only for yeah use it for a year you might as well get the three year and then, well, and then well same thing like on your it. car when you got your warranty yeah, uh, the the warranty, back. warranty back. Yeah. we didn't know most people don't know about that get the warranty and then you get a prorated refund if you don't use it change tops like 10 times i'm back to this top it is avocado toast time. Then I'm gonna get going on my to-do list. So I wanted to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Ritual. I talked about Ritual a few months ago. It's the vitamins I've been using. I've been using their multivitamin and they recently came out with a symbiotic Less. Prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic in one capsule. You only have to take one per day. One of the things I love about Ritual is A, they're minty. So like I can sniff it. It just smells like a mint. And when it goes down your throat, it almost has this like cooling thing and it's kind of refreshing. Doesn't taste like a gross vitamin that you have to like gag down or drink with juice. Literally, I just drink it with water and I like the taste of it. And Ritual has delayed release capsules, which means it's just waiting until it reaches your colon rather than releasing your stomach, which is not the ideal place. So this helps to support digestive, gut, and immune health. Since I am not a medical professional, I'm just gonna read you what these three things do. Prebiotics support growth and activity of beneficial bacteria living in the gut. 
Probiotics are live microorganisms that help relieve bloating, gas, and occasional mild diarrhea. Postbiotic provides fuel to the cells that make up the gut lining and supports gut barrier functioning. So that's interesting. They're science-backed. You can find all the information on Ritual's website if you want to do more digging into their clinical studies and everything. This is totally different than their multivitamin, so I am still taking that, and then I just added in the Symbiotic Plus into my vitamin routine so you can take both together and if you are also in need of a multivitamin rituals got that too you can also do their monthly subscription if you don't want to think about like ordering the vitamins when they run out that's really nice because then it just shows up at your door free shipping they're giving you 20 percent off your first order with the code taylorwin20 so i'm going to have it linked down below if you want to check out any of the ritual products that'll give you 20 percent off your first order all right so i'm going to switch over my new laptop later because i just want to get some things done first but i have my favorite highlighters these are so cool because you can see through them see how it's like clear right there so you can see your writing as you're highlighting also love the sharpie s gel pens these are so nice and i'm just going to transfer over right now i have all my to-do list things in google calendar and google keep and i'm just going to go through and transfer over on paper because i just i don't know there's something satisfying to me about like writing it out all on paper and then crossing them off over on the right hand side if you're in google calendar you bring up keep or you can separate out your tasks so i have just a lot of personal stuff on here so i'm not going to show you everything so this is a compiled list of tasks that i've added to my google calendar and i mean it keeps going i have like <laughs> probably 100 on here and it's also pretty cool because you can go weeks back like see how this is 16 15 weeks ago and so obviously like maybe some of these things i haven't done like i actually don't think i did that I don't, but like things like posting them on pics or posting them makeup artist pic like those i've already done so you can either delete or just check them off Probably better than when I had it because there's rice on it. Ah, how can you go wrong with that? Yeah, the beef is good, huh? Mmm. Mm. Look at this mm. corn. Wow, Look at this cute corn. What is what that? What is your name of What is that? Parker, <laughs> like I'm Parker looking at the vlog camera. <laughs> If you haven't tried this, this is the best pumpkin creamer of all time. I get it every year. It tastes like pumpkin, but not like gross or super artificial. Glass straw. Mm. Yum. So next day, I'm feeling pretty stressed today, not gonna lie. I kind of knew this was gonna happen when I got home because I just packed, I kind of did this to myself, I packed like a lot of commitments brand wise into like a very short amount of time and other videos that I'm like pre-filming for while I'm gonna be gone and then need to get those filmed here. So it's just like basically double or even triple videos and content that I like normally I'm trying to do at the same time as getting the stuff up like for this week and next week. I did go to sushi with my family last night, which was fun, but then I worked until midnight and then woke up feeling like crappy today. So the most pressing thing is like this week's video when I'm filming this. I have like three videos in the works that aren't ready to be filmed yet. There's a lot. Okay. Going in circles here. It is hot in San Diego right now. Like I'm talking 85 and super humid. So um, we're all just sweating. Why am I putting on? I never put this on with the brush. Literally don't know why I'm doing that. This looks so pretty with your hands. I feel like this applies the best with your hands. See left in and already sweating. <laughs> Do I care about brows slash makeup in general right now at all? No. I'm still doing it for some reason. I also want to film a car Q&A, so I was like, maybe I'll do that today, but I just am not. Like, those chatty kind of Q&As, you gotta be in a chatty mindset and, like, in a good mood. I just feel like I'm too stressed right now to film that and have it be, like, a video that makes sense at all. So basically, the conclusion of this whole morning rant was still don't have a plan. Anyways, I'm gonna just chill the F out right now and take some CBD oil figure my life out. So I wanted to try like a very full kind of coffee because tis the season, you know? So I found this one on Amazon. It had super good reviews. It smells delicious. So we'll see. I'm gonna put it, just do a 
pour over right now. If you have any like super full good coffees, let me know what they are down below. Whenever I'm home, we make separate pots like my parents will make theirs in here. And then I do pour over because I like my coffee like 10 times stronger than they like theirs. Whoa. Oh, hello toaster. <laughs> I'm five years old. But yeah, they do like half decaf, half regular. Mm. Whoa, that smells good. Love this kettle. This is what I used to have in my old apartment. Just looks like very clean and modern and nice, you know, for a kettle. I mean, the scent is a 10 out of 10. We'll see how it tastes. So when I got here, these bags were all full. It's like what I had all my stuff stored in at my parents' house. And I had like three cardboard boxes and everything right now is completely empty. So I basically went through, donated a bunch of clothes and stuff and organized stuff. And then I also separated out the clothes I am keeping here by winter stuff and summer stuff since I'm like switching kind of seasons right now. So once I have everything clean from the laundry and just make sure it's all that's going in here. I'm gonna vacuum these. These are the vacuum ones. Normally when I travel, I use the rollout ones, uh, which are currently <laughs> under here. But these ones are the vacuum ones and I just already had them. This is what I've been keeping in the suitcases here, just so I can like switch clothes out if need be. And also this is stuff that I just wanted to keep here instead of in my storage unit. Putting coffee right by a brand new MacBook. I think I've decided it is time to finally unbox this beauty. Coffee update. It's good. It's not like super strong. You can taste like a little spiciness, a little fallness, but it's not too sweet or anything. Maybe I didn't put like enough in, but I do like it. Like I would have it again. So I did already order a laptop sleeve from Amazon. Love that it has a gold zipper. This got really good reviews and does feel like very nice quality, soft fake leather, obviously. Looking kind of more orange on camera, but it's a nice like camel-y color. And I thought this is also really pretty for fall. So I'm thinking this time around, I'm not gonna do like a hard shell case. I don't know, it might be risky, especially with like all the traveling, but I'm thinking I do no hard shell case and only a sleeve. I might change my mind. I just really love the color of this one. By the way, last time I did a whole ASMR <laughs> unboxing on Instagram. So if you're into that, I have that over there. I'm not gonna do that this time, but I will, you know, we'll do a little, the tab, love the tab. By the way, I've been testing out the cameras, this new camera, I just went in the sink. <laughs> I'm testing out this new camera's internal audio to see how it sounds without a mic. So this whole vlog has been shot without a mic. Normally I have a mic on my vlog cameras, so we'll see how this sounds. This is a little risky, going right on the edge, but you know me, I like to live on the edge. So pretty. Oh my God, it feels so nice already. <laughs> Look at the colored cord. I love that they did a dark cord. Also, that just makes more sense because then you can't see how dirty it is, you know? You know when your cord starts to like turn colors and you can't really bleach it, I've tried. <sighs> I'm so happy I went with this color. This is the new midnight color and it's, they say it's like a, a bluish to me. It looks like, yeah, it definitely has a blue tint, but it's like a blue, black, blue, gray, dark gray kind of super pretty color. It doesn't look like too blue to me and I love that the Mac the apple is like black. Parker's very confused who I'm talking to, but look at how friggin' beautiful. From the Apple store, you can choose if you want the fast charger or if you want the double USB-C port. So I guess at Best Buy, it just comes with the double USB-C, but there is a faster option. One small thing, <laughs> I wish they made this to match, you know? Like they should have made the base same color and i always keep my boxes for resale because i never sell back to the apple store if you sell back to the apple store like your old macbooks you get i mean i literally put in my one from a year ago and they were offering around 250 dollars <laughs> so always keep your boxes you never know if you're gonna resell and it just looks nicer especially like on ebay if you see a used listing with like the original accessories in the box and everything and you have like nice photos and everything it just I think it sells better, it looks nicer. Okay, now that I'm like touching this, I'm kind of scared to hold it. So I feel like I am gonna get a case, <laughs> but I might do a clear one just so you can see the color still. All right, so here's what this combo looks like with the sleeve and the color. Yeah, I'm gonna get a case. I'm scared I'm gonna like scratch this. And since it is dark, the scratches probably show a lot. So last night I got a lot of the travel things done. So I did call Candor Airlines, rebook a flight. Also, that was the easiest rebooking. Basically I had already booked a flight and I had to use, like they don't give you credit, they just say call to rebook. 
if you need to change your flight. And I ended up getting full credit. Like they just transferred it over and then also gave me a refund back to the card for the difference, which I feel like airlines do not usually do that. So just FYI, get a quick customer service too on Candor. So anyways, rebooked that finalized December plans. I booked like Airbnbs, booked everything. This insurance form I have to do is literally like seven pages long and it's gonna take about three hours to get all the information they need. So I need to do that this week, but that's not super um urgent. I need my MacBook right now. I need to clean it before I can take photos of it, before I can sell it. <laughs> So maybe I'll take photos of the Sony lens that I'm selling. So this is the lens that I'm selling. Basically the one I'm on right now is the 11 millimeter, which is super wide, but it's F1.8. So this one's F4, so it just means it's like less of a blurry background. That's why this lens is so awesome because it's like the first kind of lens like made for vlogging where it's super wide and it has a nice like bokeh if you want that. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna list this one on eBay. I usually just get like a, you know, good background. Actually like right here isn't bad. Get the lens out and just take photos. And if there's any accessories I don't need, I usually include it. Actually adding on here that I need to figure out, you know, transferring everything from this computer to the new laptop because that is actually more urgent because I can't do, I can't list it obviously until last done. Can't remember what I did last time. I think I just put everything on a hard drive. I also went through packages this morning. Random, but I was just about to put this on and thought I'd mention because I've been loving this. This is the Lawless Forget the Filler Overnight Lip Mask. You guys know I love their gloss. I feel like they make some of the best lip products, but the thing I love about this is, so it does have a cherry scent, which normally I don't like. It has a light pink color, which is really pretty. But what I like is when you first put it on, yeah, you smell the cherry, but then the cherry like goes away and it turns into like a very cooling, a little bit tingly, but not like uncomfortable, not like the cinnamon kind of thing. It's more of just like a cooling minty kind of thing. I've been making my lips really soft. I've been putting on at night, but also just like throughout the day. And I just really like the feel of this one. It's not like super tacky. So I don't know if you can quite tell, but it gives like a pretty gloss and like I said, like a nice kind of plumbing look. So I'm gonna end off this vlog here and try to get a million things done today. I also have to start editing this video. So if you guys enjoyed, I'm gonna have, I'm pretty sure another San Diego vlog come in. So we'll do some other vloggy things. But if you wanna check out Ritual, you can get 20% off your first month with the code TaylorWin20. Everything is linked down below. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.